Hi guys and welcome to another video. This video has been months in the making with everything going on in the world right now in lockdown. It has really um, slowed down the process but I can finally announce my really exciting news that Peter and I have just moved house yesterday. So as of today Murphy is going to be coming home to live with me at my house. I'm not going to be in livery anymore. And the second bit of exciting news is that that means that, of course, he needs a companion. So we have a little pony coming for the boys today as well. So I just thought I would vlog um, Murphy coming home for the first time. And I'll also give you a wee tour of our new place. So this is the land that we have here. This, the yard's a bit messy, but we've got this little bungalow. We've got an external garage here and this is a little enclosed, well it's meant to be a dog run but I'm going to probably use it for Murphy too that he could stand in until I get the stables up. If he needs to be off grass he could stand in there for a while. So the boys are just loving exploring. <clears throat> so yeah this is the main field here. Excuse Polly. So We've got these three smaller paddocks here, separated now. These were used for dogs, so they've got quite uh, narrow gates on them, as you can see. So I don't think Murphy will be able to go in and out of there, but the wee pony might be able to. Um, eventually, my plan would be to put down some concrete in this area and to put up some timber stables there. So that's kind of summer plans. Hopefully I have them up by next winter all being well. Then the field extends up here, so I'm going to use this area for riding in and get a few jumps and stuff there. And then, yeah, it goes the whole way down here and I'll take you down to see the other paddock. We're just taking a little walk around to make sure everything's safe and ready for Murphy arriving this morning. So something we need to do long term is remove this fence here. Um, the previous owner had greyhounds and he raced them up and down this track, but there's some fence posts that have been grown over and stuff in the ground, so it wouldn't really be safe for gall galloping a horse up, to be honest. So I would like to get it removed eventually, but that's gonna take a wee bit of time. But initially we have removed just the bits that were sort of undergrown wire, so that it's safe to turn them out. And then down here is another wee paddock. So there's a good bit of grass in here too, actually. So this is just a smaller paddock for a bit more grazing. So plenty to work with. Couldn't be happier to be honest. Um, yeah, so hopefully we'll pick Murphy up this morning. Hopefully he'll load and we'll get him home in the next couple of hours. So much better. <laughs> oh, you didn't want to do that, eh? Yeah, I did. You're going to be best by the end of this. This is our new pony Dory, she's for my two little boys. She's an 11 hand Shetland Cross Welsh mare and she's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is Murphy's first time meeting her and I'm just going to share a few clips um, from her first couple of weeks at home with us. If you want to see the video of Jonah's reaction to seeing her for the first time you can go um, to the description and I'll post a link for it. I don't, I'm not going to post the whole thing again. But it's a really cute video, so make sure you go check it out if you haven't seen it already. Good girl. Good girl. Dory is obviously a little bit fat, so she doesn't get to stay in this field with Murphy at the moment. Um, just because of the fear of her getting laminitis. So normally she's in a little paddock just adjacent to his. 
at the minute, but I let her in with them every so often just so they can have a little kick about and a bit of fun together. Hold on to the handle properly. Thank you, Mummy. What for, Tony? To bring my pony. Oh, you're welcome. I just meant, do you want to say walk on? Walk on. But that's lovely that you said thank you. There was a kiss. Walk we'll on the way. I squeezed her up with my legs. Yeah, that's good. Okay, give her another squeeze. Say what going to way? What going to way? That's it. Let's go that way. Set up straight. Look where you're going. Watch where you're going. They're going everywhere. They're going everywhere, mommy. Yeah. Everywhere. Every, 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 everywhere. What do you say to get her to stop? Whoa. Good Whoa. boy. Walk on, Dory. squeeze? That's it. This is my tack and feed room set up. So this is um, the garage which I've just turned into a little tack room for now until I can get proper stables built. So yeah, um, there's plenty of space in it that Murphy should be able to stand in there if I want to bring him in for grooming or anything like that. So I'll probably put some rubber mats down um, so that he can stand inside. And this is my current paddock set up. So Dory's just on a little small paddock to keep her grass intake down and then Murphy's in this bigger section and we'll probably get this part of the field cut for haylage at some point and then move them uh, into that part of the field. So that is really it. This has been our first three weeks here so I hope you've liked seeing our new house and hopefully there'll be many more videos to come in the future now and um, that I'll be able to ride more and hopefully get videos more often. Thanks for watching. Bye!